Hi everyone, and welcome to another action-packed episode of Orga Dies at the End. Today we're kicking off with a brand new choose-your-own-adventure called Lemon Simulator by Daniel Champion. You can find it on textadventures.co.uk if you ever want to play it. I'm your narrator, Mandy, and today's lemon is Orga. Ready? Yeah, I guess. Okay. We're ready to be a lemon. You wake up, suddenly aware that you are a lemon. You have no idea where you are, why you're there, or what is happening. Before you start to lose your mind, you decide that the best thing to do is escape before anything gets worse. Do you roll off the counter, roll out of the window, or stay still? Maybe someone will come and help. I'm gonna roll off the counter. You roll onto the floor. Thank God it was a soft landing. Before you have time to wonder why someone would use carpet in a kitchen, you hear footsteps. Do you roll to cover, try to blend in, or roll away? Lemons don't blend in with things in kitchens. No, lemon... Unless your kitchen is, like, lemon yellow for some reason, which is really creepy if you think about it. Yeah, it's also a really bad color. People don't like yellow. Yellow is bad. It hurts your eyes. Yeah, like, it's so bright. No one would ever want to decorate their it's, kitchen with it. It's why all of humanity hates the sun. So this is why we are not blending in. Exactly. Yeah, I, um, what was it? Uh, roll for cover? Roll to cover! You roll under a kitchen counter as a human enters the room. He looks around, locates a cutting board, and starts preparing a fruit salad. You could leave while they're distracted, or you could try to stop this fruit massacre before it starts. Do you roll out or stop the madness? Alright, well, as a lemon, I don't give a shit about anyone. Well, his name is Brian, so no, I don't really give a it's shit. It's not a real baby, it's a zombie. It's we all know I it's stayed alive because I ate my friend. I gently friends. to Mary, or I speak sharply to Mary. Oh, there's not the option to point a gun at her. <laughs> Fuck Justin, we're going to the mall. I don't want to He's a white bitch. kid on this show with us. Let's let's leave him behind. <laughs> not even other lemons. Yeah, no, lemons are like the assholes of the fruit world. They, they really are. They're no one likes le- like people like limes. Limes are good. You put them in pie. No one likes lemons. You never heard of a tea lemon pie. I mean, like, like I go to a restaurant now, and I don't even want to have goddamn le- lemon in my water. Just, just no. Exactly. And number two, don't put lemon in a fruit salad. Yeah, no. What is this guy thinking? That's that's not that's not where it goes. That's not where it belongs. It's not it's, okay. It, it goes in tea, and it goes on your French fries and your fish. Yes. So what are we gonna do? So, I am going to roll out. Roll out. As you leave the kitchen, you hear the tortured screams of the other fruit being diced finely. You feel guilt for a brief second, and then remember that you're a lemon with no emotions or feelings. You see another human approaching. Do you act natural or hide? I'm going to hide. Where? The trash compactor? The toilet? Behind the sofa? The flower pot? Or under a bed? Uh... Hide in the toilet. <laughs> you can hide in the toilet? No. No, I mean, that's just. I almost want to, but I can't see that being anything good. I can't see anything good coming from that. <laughs> like, can you um, imagine just someone walking into the bathroom and finding a fucking lemon in the water? <laughs> it's just like, what happened here? G- Gary? It, it, it's happening! <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna hide in the flower pot. You hop into the flower pot. You're safe for a while, but then are covered in soil and buried. Many days pass with no sign of help coming. But one day, you spontaneously grew into a lemon tree and have many lemon children. You live a long and happy life for a lemon and die many years later. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you died of old age. This is unacceptable. No, it's completely acceptable. <laughs> no. And there you have it, folks. Orga died in like five minutes. I, I think that's a new record. Actually, I, I died in uh, many years. <laughs> um, it just it was five minutes till I beat the game. There's a, there's a difference, Mandy. How is it that you just keep, like... You keep dying of old age. I don't understand. Well, I think it's just saying, you know, hey, Orga, you're gonna live for a really, really long time. God damn it. This, this completely defeats the purpose of this game's name. It's, it's... Well, you know, I I never agreed to Orga Dies at the End. You and you and the editor over there were just kind of like, hey, let's call Orga Dies at the End. He'll die a lot. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, guys. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> God damn Lol. it. Lol. 
Anyway, everyone, tune in next time. We're going to read Karen for you. It's going to be a really good sci-fi thriller. I love sci-fi thrillers. Can I have a nasty, awesome gun? No, because you're going to be a 13-year-old girl. But, but Bandy, 13-year-old girls can still have awesome sci-fi guns. Well, you're not gonna. Don't discriminate, Mandy. Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I can't be a badass or a headstrong. <laughs> okay. Okay, tune in next time, everyone. See you then. Bye-bye, everybody. your damn lemon